Hello NASCAR fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today I want to talk about the collection of online evidence or the collection of data on a computer that doesn't necessarily lend itself to forensic imaging. For example, uh, text messages uh, on a phone. Uh, I've seen, I've worked cases where people have taken a screenshot of the phone and printed it out and submitted that as evidence, or at least that they say that's what it is. There's no shortage of websites that you can go to and you can create both sides of the conversation. You can put in in the screenshot how much battery power is on the phone. What kind of phone? Is it an iPhone? What version of iPhone? What version of iOS? You can change all of the parameters that you would normally see on an iPhone screen. You can type both sides of the message, the blue side or the green side. Is it iMessage? Is it text message? And then you can print that out and it will look for all the world like you printed out a screenshot you took of a phone. What about web pages? Something like a Facebook page. If you take a picture, a screenshot of a Facebook uh, page and I happen to be on the other side of this investigation and, and the court asks me, uh, Mr. Repo, what can you determine from this, uh, what you see in front of you? And I'll say nothing. And when they say why, I'll say, because I don't have the evidence to make a determination. What I have is a picture of what purports to be evidence. This would be like a murder scene where someone shot someone, dumped the gun beside the body, and all we did was take a picture of the gun. Then we threw the gun away because we don't need the gun. We've got a picture of the gun. That should be good enough. That would never fly in any other part of law enforcement or investigations other than computers. I don't understand it myself. There are no shortage of tools. And Hunchly, for example, is a fantastic tool for collecting such things. If your investigation involves uh, uh, open source intelligence gathering or collecting a website or Facebook pages or Twitter posts or anything like that, use Hunchly to collect it. It collects every part of what you're seeing, including the underlying code that made it look that way. So this is very, very helpful to us. And it, it keeps the other side from saying, hey, this happened or this didn't happen. You can present a picture of electronic evidence uh, if the court is willing to accept it. But if the other side challenges it strongly enough, then it may not be good enough. If I don't have the code to analyze, how do I know that that is what you purport it to be? So we have to think about this. It's more than just a picture. As I said, I've worked cases where text messages were faked and then the printout was submitted as evidence. Always be mindful that what you see is not always what you can believe. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.